an elevator problem. So in this problem, we have a 100 kilogram person inside an elevator. And we want to know what the normal force is. How big is the normal force when the elevator is at rest? B, when it is accelerating up at 3 meters per second squared. C, when it's accelerating down at 2 meters per second squared. And D, when the elevator is going down at a constant speed of 4 meters per second. First thing we're going to do is obviously draw a free body diagram, but of what? This is probably the worst part for most students is they mess up the free body diagram and then the whole question turns out to be garbage. So, what do we draw a free body diagram of? The elevator or the person? The question is finding the normal force on the person, so we're going to draw a free body diagram of the person. The person has a mass of 100. Is there gravity on the person? Yes, of course there is. Fg. It's mass times 9.8, 100 times 9.8, 980 newtons is the force of gravity. What other forces are there? Well, the person is standing on the floor, right? There's a surface. If there's a surface, there's got to be a normal force. It's got to be perpendicular to the surface, which means it's got to be up. Fn. Is anyone pushing or pulling on the person? Is there a rope? A lot of people want to put tension. They want to put a rope on this thing. And when I ask them why, they say, well, because the elevator has a cable. Okay? And that's true. The elevator does have a cable, which is pulling up on the elevator. But we're drawing a free body diagram of the person in the elevator. And unless the person in the elevator is hanging from a rope in the elevator, there's not going to be a tension. Okay. We're not going to assume that the person in the elevator is committing suicide. We're going to only assume that if we're explicitly told that. I don't know if I should put... Well, <laughs> I guess we could cut that in. So, either way, the only two forces are F and an FG. I'm going to call the X direction up, because that's where it's accelerating, at least in some part of it. And the x direction equation, therefore, is going to say Fn minus Fg equals Ma. That's Newton's law. And that, that law is really good for anyone or anything in an elevator. It's really all we need. So for the different parts, we're just going to change some of the givens from this equation. Escape. So for part A, what is the given? The question said it's at rest, but what does that mean? Well, it of course means that it's not moving, but that's not really useful. There's not a V in our equation. If something is sitting there at rest, you guys hopefully know that the acceleration must be equal to zero. So now I'm going to take my new second law, Fn minus Fg equals Ma, and I'm going to sub in a zero for A. And that means that Fn must equal Fg. So no surprise there. The normal force is going to be equal to gravity. person feels normal. They have... Uh, a weight of 980 newtons, and if they were standing on scale, it would say 100 grams. Sorry, 100 kilograms. Piece of cake. Okay, what about part B? In part B, the elevator is accelerating up at 3 meters per second squared. I called x up. I'm saying positive is up, so my given here is really that a is going to be positive 3. I go back to the same equation, fn minus fg equals ma, but instead of a, I'm going to put in positive 3. So when I rearrange, I get... 300 plus 980 means the normal force is 1,280 newtons. And hopefully that makes a lot of sense. The elevator is accelerating up. The person feels a bit heavier. The floor is pushing up on the person harder than usual. You feel a bit heavy. It also means, of course, that the elevator is accelerating up. It doesn't mean that the elevator is necessarily going up. When do you feel heavy in an elevator? When you get in an elevator, then you feel heavy. It means you're accelerating up, which means you're going up. But it would also happen, if you think about it, on the way down. As the elevator goes down, and then it wants to stop, it's got to slow down. And as it slows down, it's got to push up on you extra hard. It accelerates you up to stop you from going down anymore. And then you get off. So the point is that the normal force is bigger, the acceleration is up, but the elevator could be going up, it could be speeding up going up, it could be going down and slowing down. Okay, for part C, the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared down. What's the given for that? I'm going to write in the down, so I've got to put the negative. Of course, if I leave off my negative, I'm going to get the total wrong answer. Fn minus Fg equals m times negative 2 this time. So the normal force is negative 200 plus 980, it is 780 newtons. When the elevator accelerates down, the normal force is less than gravity. 
And that makes sense, right? The normal force isn't pushing up as hard as gravity, so the Earth is pulling you and your elevator down, or at least accelerating you and your elevator down. But again, of course, the elevator could still be going up and slowing. When you're in an elevator, you feel kind of light when it stops on the way up. Also, when it speeds up on the way down, you feel a little bit lighter than normal. So that makes sense. And then part D is a little bit of a trick question. And the way I've written it on the board here, it's not likely to trick anyone. But on a test, where this is written in words, if I wrote the elevator is descending at 2 meters per second, a lot of students will just slap in a negative 2 there for A, because they're not paying attention to the units, or they're not reading the question well. So, right now, I think this is not going to fool anybody. V equals 4. Well, that's not the given. What's the given? The acceleration. If the velocity is 4, if the velocity is 4 down, it's constant speed, the acceleration is obviously 0. So, no big deal, we've already done that question, right? The normal force, therefore, is equal to gravity, which is 980 newtons. The normal force is still 980. The acceleration is zero, but the elevator is going down at a constant speed. And this hopefully makes sense. If an elevator is at rest, then we know the acceleration is zero. But that doesn't mean that if the elevator, if the acceleration is zero, that the elevator must be at rest. Newton's second law. Things move. Newton's first law, really. Newton's first law of inertia. Things keep moving when there's no net force. So this thing is going down at a constant speed. The forces have to be balanced. Normal force and gravity are going to be the same. And the person on board is going to feel totally normal as the elevator goes down at a constant speed. And that's really all there is to elevator props. Almost. <laughs> so I look at the screen or the lens? Look at the lens. Does that look better? I don't know if I you can tell. YouTube, they sometimes look off to the side. I can't tell what's better. <laughs> okay, well, I'll send a copy to the board anyway.